my dear Scorpio, this is a love reading, a prediction for the month of October with me, Queen of Cups Tarot. As an extended member to the channel, you will get these readings ahead of time and with no ads. And there's a four elements reading up. How will my spiritual powers develop for the full members to the channel? In a personal growth reading, what will Mercury retrograde in Libra bring up? is av available for all the members to the channel. Subscribe and then check out the many perks through the join button that will appear or follow the link in the description box to learn more about membership. And I can recommend that you rewatch the previous love reading for September to get a context. And this is the prediction for October. And I'll start reading your cards and I use the Tarte de la Nuit. And when I open your deck here, I see the magician together with ten of swords. So it seems like someone's magic spell didn't work out that well. Okay, I think a person tried to trick you, tried to control you, tried to manipulate you, or tried to uh, bedazzle you <laughs> or charm you in some way. That didn't seem to have pan out well for them. Uh, I will look deeper into this. Okay, so I call the divine with love and light. And here we have the queen of cups with the magician. Mm, it might have been that they kind of fallen for you. They thought that they were the one in control, able to uh, make you fall for them. But uh, maybe there was something special about you that uh, triggered them to actually fall in love themselves okay i call the four archangels in the four corners of the world and here we have the moon together with the magician so here it gets really scary for this person why they uh, manipulated lied tricked and charmed and you know, fooled and whatever they did pull strings it is because they want control and um, they don't have control over their heart uh, so uh, they're getting really scared here with the moon. They feel like they are out on thin ice uh, when they don't have control over not you, not themselves. Uh, life gets hard. Life gets complicated because this is a little bit of a control freak, I would say, like someone that wants to play the game. Okay, so uh, I call the six elements and here we have the lovers together with the moon. So it's how um, life, love and the divine trumps us by making us fall in love, making our, bec us becoming the fool and uh, lose our dignity, <laughs> lose our sense of control. It's of course, this is um, in this uh, person's soul's best interest uh, to not be a, a trickster or a player, but actually become a real human being. But I don't know if this person is ready to take that kind of step. Okay. So, see here. Six elements. Earth, wind, fire, water, spirit, and ether to join us here today and to give us a clear view reading. For my dear Scorpio viewers, page of swords, knight of pentacles, and the sun. Um, um, here the person is going through uh, different things. It's um, uh, as they have a very loyal side to them, but they also have an inner child that's scared of um, um, scared of losing, scared of uh, not being treated well, scared of uh, being left abandoned. Uh, so it's what's caused them to become this player trickster kind of person. Uh, because they are really trying to protect um, themselves and uh, they have um, this is their survival technique and then we have the sun so that's them facing their soul uh, so we can see both this knight of pentacles here and the sun card uh, this is their human side uh, that they have a very beautiful side to them that's very uh, loyal and uh, it's the part of them that this patient source is trying to protect and the sun is their soul, so you have both uh, provoked both this uh, loyal <laughs> part of them and their soul. Uh, and their patient source, their uh, survival technique is, is um, kind of freaked out by this uh, possibility here of love and 
um, a deeper relationship, something more meaningful. It doesn't have to be in romance. This can be a friend that doesn't want a deep friendship, just wants to, you know, um, platter about um, insignificant things. But then you provoke them to look at their depths. Um, so it can be uh, different relationships. It doesn't have to be romantic, even though the, it points to a person being a victim to their own romantic heart. <laughs> okay, so six elements, earth, wind, fire, water, spirit, and ether to join us here today and to give us a clear view reading for my dear Scorpio viewers. So, Scorpio. Oh, we get company. Someone wants to lay on the sofa here. Okay. I'm just going to tune in for a few seconds to you and the person most on your mind. Sometimes it can be the person that have you most on their mind as well. And uh, your relationship in October. Okay. So, we'll see. Uh, when I open your deck here, I see the hero font uh, together with eight of wands. This is um, someone that uh, uh, went from zero to hundred, like they were this trickster manipulator and now suddenly they kind of want to come and offer you something tangible, something for real. Um, it can be even a um, marriage proposal or asking you to move in with them or um, it's like they, without really wanting it, um, you became one of their family members, you became one of the most important people in their life. And um, that doesn't mean that this will end well. A uh, person like what we saw, it's usually a control freak. So uh, they might uh, still in a relationship, still in a marriage, still uh, be trying to control uh, you. They can even become possessive or jealous or uh, maybe act really cold so that you will always have to ask for love, things like this. But here uh, they are pretty sure what they want and it seems like they want you. Okay. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know. I'm starting over to, uh, to shuffle the cards. So we do it all over again. Okay. Tuning in and this person, your relationship in October. Probably we missed those cards. So this is the new bottom of the deck. Oh, uh, the devil. So it's what I say. This person wants to come with some real offer to you. But it might be just one, like a more advanced form of their trap. Before their trap was to maybe keep the relationship casual. Um, to string you along and to not mean real business now they mean real business but now you're becoming more important to them and they will want to have more control okay so uh, this is the past seven of cups so they're projecting a lot of old uh, hurt and pain onto your relationship that's it's not to, because you need to be controlled that they are this person it's because things that have happened to them earlier um, emotionally, they are living in a swamp uh, of um, old, um, um, old <laughs> feelings full of algae and, uh, you know, uh, small water creatures and um, a lot of um, uh, soil and dirt. And um, so um, they are not healthy emotionally. Uh, they have... Um, a lot of things that they need to deal with, you know, pick up one emotion in the time and deal with it, digest it, go through it. And a person like this is generally really scared of their emotions. So they might not want to do that work. Instead, it's easier to control you so that their emotions won't get triggered. So they won't feel dramatic inside. They control you or control their life or uh, control the situation so no bad things that will trigger these emotions this old swamp will happen to them okay uh, so that's the reason to why they have acted a little bit strange so this is the uh, you are uh, what's on your mind with this person and this is the situation that you have and this is what's on their mind 
uh, this is the bond between you, your feelings, uh, their feelings towards you, your behaviors and attitudes, and the outcome for October, and their behaviors and attitudes. Okay, a little bit too high maybe. Okay, so we start with the situation here, and we have Angel, uh, Angel de la Nuit. I'm feeling this is a person's very delicate relationship with themselves. Uh, to know that they are valuable, to know that they are worth something. It's very, I'm feeling it's very precarious for this person. Uh, they might have um, <clears throat> a kind of extravagant ego. Um, they can, you know, brag about themselves or uh, make jokes about how um, like amazing they are or um, but inside them, uh, it's a person that don't believe that they have a value. Uh, if, of course, this is a valuable person, Angel de la Nuit, it shows uh, like the crown of uh, humanity in a way uh, that a person uh, come here like a hero going through all these things, being triggered, being traumatized, getting karma, working through their karma. It's a tough job. It's not for, you know, uh, anyone. And a person like this, a soul that's ready to do this, it's something amazing about it, of every human being on earth. Uh, but this person doesn't know it. They just feel a lot of shame, a lot of uh, trauma, a lot of dramatic emotions. And uh, they feel really insecure. It's like being on a, uh, in a swamp where you don't know if you put your foot here, uh, will it have hold your weight or will you fall through and down into the water? Okay, this is what's on your mind. Ten of Pentacles much more stable, uh, much more uh, healthy. Uh, it shows the person you're uh, ready for friendship. Uh, you can be ready for deeper things as well, but uh, it's like you're holding your fort uh, a little bit. The red thread, it, it means that you can follow along with this person's behavior and shady actions. You keep track of this, you know what's going on. You're not easily fooled in this situation. Um, you have built uh, like a very stable persona for yourself and you don't uh, uh, <clears throat> you don't let yourself um, get into a desperate situation. You have a lot of control uh, over your life in a way that's um, uh, much more healthy. I think you're a person that rather goes through uh, your difficult emotions than around or trying to avoid and this is what's on their mind, Nine of Wands. So they so much wants to be this uh, freedom-loving uh, player type of person that, uh, you know, leaves uh, other people broken uh, behind them, like breaking a lot of hearts from town to town. But the only one that's really getting their heart broken is truly them uh, because they are trying to run away from themselves because they can't believe that uh, they truly can be uh, be loved, that they can't believe that they have value. So pretty self-destructive uh, energy in a way. And uh, this is the bond between you two. And we have the temperance card, which is the alchemist wedding. Um, so you're really drawn to each other for reasons that only your soul can tell. It has to do with your spiritual growth. We're sometimes being drawn to our shadow side, like a person that represents what we are hiding for, from ourselves. We can also be drawn to a person that has a lot to offer when it comes to experience, uh, even learning about difficult relationship, difficult people. Um, it's really a part of our education. It's almost like you are a scientist that's um, going on a mission uh, to discover something new or learn something new. And by these uh, discoveries, you expand the universe and the consciousness of the universe. So you're really like a, a front runner or someone being sent into deep space to figure things out. And here we have your emotions. So it's the world card. Uh, with this Ten of Pentacles and the world, it almost seems like a closure that you are okay with whatever happened. You're over it. Uh, you're not uh, dramatizing about it uh, anymore. Um, you have come to terms with how things happen. We can see this crown and this moon being a crown on this person shows uh, a lot of experience has been made. A lot of wisdom has been plucked out of this situation. It almost seems like a harvest that um, you are grateful for this relationship. It taught you a lot, uh, but it's not having any 
grasp on you or hold on you um, in the way that it might have a hold on this person. So this is their feelings, queen of wands. Uh, so it's like they feel like they have met their match, like they have met the person that could make them stay, uh, could make them not want to uh, run away. And it's almost like you should be grateful for this. Uh, but, uh, you know, they should be so lucky <laughs> that they are even um, allowed close to you. And if they aren't, it's understandable. Okay, <laughs> so, but they really these both these cards is showing heavy attraction so this might be how the universe is tricking them into um uh, losing their uh trickster game uh by making them um being almost a little bit obsessed with you okay so <clears throat> this is your behaviors and attitudes and we have the four of cups there uh, so you're not expecting much from this situation. You are you don't expect this person to rock your world or move heaven and earth for you. It's like uh, um, you have seen right through them. You have understand what they are about, and you might have understand what was what what was making you so appeal to the situation. Maybe you fall for the typical bad boy or bad girl, and you know it. So it's um um it's not uh, you're not 100% invested in this situation it's almost like you're invested like this much because you don't expect much of the, of this situation or from this person if you were a little bit more uh, naive you, you might have thought oh wow this person finally they are falling for me now we're going to live happily ever after but this is not the case you are seeing okay so this person uh, has uh, fallen for me now or they show more interest but what can I do with this this is not a stable person uh, so you're not super invested uh, five of swords this might make this person it can they can take it as a personal attack on their ego and that now when they finally want you uh, you're not too keen or too interested in them uh, so it can even be a dangerous situation and that's just for kind of one percent of people watching uh, so um, it's um, it's like someone is getting scorned here or being humiliated. Their ego is being humiliated. And since um, they haven't been able to really get to know themselves, uh, their ego, this is their themselves and this is their like image of themselves, their ego. Uh, so since they don't know this part or love this part of them, if they are humiliated or dismissed, um, it's like they are dying. It's like you're threatening their life by uh, acting like, um, oh, uh, yeah, okay, so what? So you want to have a relationship with me? How do you think that's going to work? You have never been able to uh, stick out with me for more than a month. And then you are, you know, running away somewhere or uh, finding a new love. So what, what should I put like what kind of value should I put in your words now uh, and and that might be like a, a big blow like they have expected that finally if they want to give themselves to someone this person should be so grateful uh, so this might piss them off <laughs> because uh, um, they have been so scared uh, to open up to someone someone that have the chance to see the real them uh, and um, then if they are being dismissed uh, like they are this person is showing you okay I'm this person really I'm not this player I can I really have a heart and then you say okay so what uh, how can I trust that what's what's it to me um, that will make this um, ego come and wants to you know um, they become angry with you and and uh, because you're hurting uh, the side of them that are so vulnerable it's not your fault and it's entirely their responsibility uh, we don't have to have this much protection um, for ourselves i think that you probably were more um, humiliated in this relationship than what they were but now finally they get a little bit humiliated and it's like heaven and earth has fallen uh, so they don't have a, a a true perspective of this situation and they don't know what they have weighed you with and why you have come to this decision that uh, you don't put so much trust into them. Uh, so they're really like a child that, uh, you know, a spoiled child. 
uh, that only played with their rich toys but then finally they saw your toy and they wanted that and you refused to sell it so it's like oh how could you refuse to sell it? they are so important they are so much uh, more special than anyone and of course you would they want everything that they point onto they should have it uh, so <clears throat> i think a no thank you is uh, the best way to go in this situation nine of pentacles so um, it shows that um, you already have <laughs> everything um, that what they can offer uh, would not match up to what you already have they will probably uh, twist and turn your emotions and your mind and uh, tear up your life in different ways it's um, much better for you to not uh, engage in this relationship at this time uh, because this person isn't mature enough to handle a relationship with you or uh, a deeper relationship with anyone. Perception, the sacred journey. So um, I think you need to uh, continue down this road and uh, you know keep this little bit uh, laid back <laughs> view on this situation. It will, it will be more, will present itself further down the road. Probably this person needs to go to, through a lifetime almost of personal growth to even, uh, you know, have anything to offer you. The wasp, anger, retaliation, jealousy. So be a little bit careful with this person. Uh, when we bruise the ego of someone that has this kind of hollow personality, they have this person inside of them but they don't think it's worthy of love so they have replaced it with an alternative ego and um, uh, that uh, is a fierce uh, energy like um, sticky bitter energy uh, death uh, so um, it's kind of saying that it, it's better if you leave this relationship alone and and not uh, engage uh, in it because it can be even dangerous or this person is not um, they are not looking out for you. They are not taking care of you. They are not, um, you know, teaching, uh, treating you in a way that's uh, respectful. Uh, they are only looking at how this reflects on them. Ocean, go with the flow and flow with the glow. So this is where you're already going <laughs> with this beautiful energy that you have. Uh, so you have learned so much. You have grown so much. Um, uh, you have, you know, beautiful uh, things coming towards you because of this uh, you don't need this kind of thing uh, be present so there's a reason why this person has been uh, so adored by you right now it's because you have really grown into uh, extraordinary person and uh, you have a lot to offer you know any person and um, uh, you don't have to throw away your uh, beautiful diamonds to people that doesn't deserve it okay but they want it uh, they have seen this uh, that you are special in this way and they think okay so this one this can be worthy of me so clarify the situation you are in king of shields uh, so i think this person wants to become serious with you and possibly um expose their you know their inner child or the part of them that's more vulnerable clarify how uh, your viewpoint here six of shields friendly but not uh, um, not throwing around heaven and earth uh, for them or taking down the moon and the stars it's more like okay i can buy you a cup of coffee uh, or we can be friends um, clarify what's on their mind two of wands so it's very it's very crucial for them to be protected we can see the walls in both these and the um, yellow energy it's danger uh, they always feel like in a little bit of a danger the red clothes also shows uh, a lot of self-protective energy okay clarify the temperance card uh, the feelings between you two the bond between you two the mother um, again you you are very special to this person uh, they might have singled out you as the one uh, the one that they want uh, the one that can give them uh, what they're dreaming of so this is your emotions uh, the moon 
uh, so you know that you have getting kind of experience with it so you know that there's trouble uh, on the road to with this relationship so it's no surprise for you uh, that this person is a little bit troubled or even dangerous um, it's um, the moon you know the danger you know that your intuition tells you that um, this is not a hundred percent sane person they have delusions about themselves that makes them disrespect other people this is their feelings seven of shields it's like they want something and they can't get it um, and uh, the woman being cooked there uh, so they want to kind of boil you down to what they need or want or take control over this situation in some way and they feel blocked uh, because you're not giving in or not yielding. So uh, it's a clarification for the outcome and it's a rebirth. You have so much more um, beautiful things happening. You don't have to take uh, this offer from this person. It's uh, flattering that this person has chosen you over, you know, all their, um, their options. But that's all that is. It's just kind of you won. <laughs> so in the end. Uh, you don't have to put more into it because the person is so hollow. Okay. Um, four of cups you had here. This is clarified with the three of cups. So, well, occasional you can uh, have a fun dinner with this person, but you don't want uh, much more than that. And clarify uh, this person's behavior here. Father. So, again, they want power. They want authority. They want respect. And um, they expect getting it but um, um, try to you know discreetly pull back from this and be not confrontative more um, alluding you can uh, give your reasons but uh, not in a don't give it in an angry or um, like haha <laughs> I told you so that uh, you would be the I would be the one laughing it's not going to help you it's better to graciously uh, you kind of just disappear uh, from this uh, person's life. Uh, I think it's the best opportunity. Um, it's not. Um, it's not a person to build a relationship with. Uh, they are too full of themselves. Okay. So, uh, my dear Scorpio. Uh, so this is a little bit of a warning, or kind of saying to you that there's better things coming. You don't have to settle for something that you feel is not 100% or that the person is oh they might be you know giving love bombing you now but soon going to experience the same thing that you experienced with them in the past or uh, or you know this type of person so you know what to expect so um, even if it's um, interesting with a little bit of a adventure or you know try out the road or go down this road I don't think it has um, any good to offer you because um, this person really needs uh, to mature and and they need to understand that other people are for real too. Uh, they only think that they count and other people doesn't really count. I would urge you to watch the reading What Do They Want to Happen Between You Two and the love reading for September to learn more about the situation or this relationship. You can also order personal readings from me at tarot.com.se or check the description box of the, this video for current offers. And if you want to see new and exclusive readings from me and watch the channel normal reading in advance and ads free, you can become an extended member to the channel. I'm also doing spiritual growth readings for all the members to the channel every week, personal questions readings for elements readings and all science readings for the full members. Subscribe and then check out the different levels to the join button that will appear or follow the link in the description box to learn more about membership. So thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, share and subscribe uh, to help the channel out and hit the notification bell to get a heads up when a new video is out. Take really good care until next time. Stay awake, stay healthy, stay blessed and bye for now.